Hello and welcome back to the letter. After a while of thinking of who would probably be best, I came to the conclusion that Ash is probably the best person to show the photo. I was thinking this logically. If we could help Ash maybe believe in what Isabel is going to probably tell him, it should help fortify and even then, Hannah and Zach only just met so I doubt she might play because I'm thinking about I'm like Luke has a problem with Zach just because black so yeah that wouldn't go so well and after how things are probably going with them like uh, that might be a problem because she might not believe him even then I don't understand why people wouldn't after seeing a ghost of sorts or just being somehow almost killed I guess so let's just hope let's see what happens with Ash Nothing? Okay! Ash will give me flack for this, he will. I can't really hear what he's going to say about this the moment I bring it up. Hell, before he even sees anything, I'll wager. This guy is a skeptic, though, through and through. And it'll take more than my account for him to even consider this. But when you've been there... Seen something enough to raise the hair of the back of your neck and leave you wide clear hide? What he thinks is the least of my concern. I am no hero. That's a title best reserved for someone else. So if this will help him change his mind, it's worth a try. That's what I'm thinking. As well as gone and done the same thing, didn't she? Outside, the sun has yet to rise. Still got a few hours before dawn. Good enough time to mull over how I'll go about this with them. Plenty of space to check if I'll if I'll get the same result if I redo the process again. Film process hums back to the life at, at my touch. Light switches gives off a soft click and darkness embraces the small closet again. Somehow those urban legends don't sound so silly now. I'm gonna get ready for this. No, nothing. Okay. <laughs> I was worried for nothing. <sighs> so it's because I still don't know if this is going to go because they know Isabel is little potentially crazy, but it's not her fault. So we have Zach prove the same thing. Hopefully he believes it's the ghost. Hopefully, because <laughs> we got two people potentially going crazy now. Sometimes I wish Ash would make himself easier to find. 24 messages, 13 phone calls, and one visit to his flat later. So I have no idea which rock in Luxembourg he went off to hide under again. The guy has his own place but refuses to stay in it. Has his own phone but doesn't answer any of his calls or give any indication he's gotten my message. Most of the time he'll just show up on my front door. Sometimes in the middle of the night, complaining how uncomfortable it is to sleep at the back of his Shirley, his car. As if the old couch in my flat is any better. Nothing new from him, though, but a bit frustrating, really. There's the police precedent, of course, and again, he's not there most of the time either, and if that's also true for today, he's likely out on another stakeout. There's nothing much to do for me but to wait if that's the case. Let's just hope I'm lucky enough today. While Luxembourg is a relatively peaceful city boasting a low crime rate, its, pre it's present stays abuzz with activity. As soon as I open the glass front doors, murmurs coming from the people waiting in the lobby welcome me. Officers can occasionally be seen shuffling in and out of the room, greeting civilians with a casual smile and a polite nod. Some, though, look a little worse for wear, like the receptionist who looked at me much disdain the moment I arrived. Thankfully, I won't have to deal with him today. Before I can even step in, Ashton's voice through the low comes from the hallway adjacent to the lobby. Not even for just one minute? No. The case was dismissed, remember? You were the one handling that case. <sighs> if you want access to those records, you've got to ask Chief. I was taken off it before shit went to hell. Why do you even bother? Even Professor Clark seems to have given up on that. 
Well, I... Never mind, you won't understand. Right. I know you owe Professor Clark a lot, but the right guy isn't just someone you mess with. Oh. They've got the money. Who knows what else gets swept under the rug with them involved. <laughs> that takes a special kind of ignorant not to know. And a smart person to know which boundaries he can't cross. You're a bright guy, you'll figure it out. In any case, I've got to get going. Another missing person case on my hand. Benjamin on the front desk looks like he's about to maul someone after the fourth one yesterday. Fourth Murders, one. people missing, what a time to be alive. Man, I miss the old Luxburn. You and me both. I'll see you. Gonna go grab some lunch. Okay then. He notes me first as soon as he enters the lobby and pauses. Confusion briefly crosses his face until I fish out the phone from my pocket and wave it up. Frowning, he pulls his own mobile out word wordless, fiddling with it a few seconds before sighing heavily. There ain't any annoyance in him when he glances up, though only mild expression and what might be a hint of amusement. Stop taking pointers from Isabella. This is gonna get old soon. <laughs> At least use your phone properly. It's an alarm clock, a good note-taking device, a halfway decent camera, and maybe a music player too. If I'm being nice. <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess you're using it. What else do I need it for? I don't know, keep it in contact, maybe? When he merely sh shrugs, I know I've struck a chord. He is far from holding a piece of technology in contempt, of course. Ash has always been nothing but practical from the start. Technology is useful. Only when he gets to focus on one thing, like a case he's handling, he tends to forget there are other things around. A little reminder and a nudge in the right direction can get him a long way. I've got an email on that social media site the girls roped us into joining. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense! Also, you've got an account before any of us had one. <laughs> For policing purposes? Anyway, why are you here? I thought you have something scheduled today. Or was that yesterday? That was yesterday. Look, about that. There's something I want you to see. He stops me with a tap on my shoulder, walks past me straight to the door, and gestures with his head towards their very irked receptionist. I raise an eyebrow and question. Over lunch. I haven't eaten anything since last night, and Benjamin there doesn't really like loiterers around here. Okay, whereas I fall after him, but not after saying the poor guy behind the table an apolog apologetic smile. Oh, we're here again at the cafe. I expect he takes a seat in the farthest corner of the cafe, a good way from the window, but easily allows a view of who comes and goes. Secluded enough not to be disrupted by the lunch hour rush or be overheard by curious bystanders. If I didn't know this, <laughs> this lunch he invited me to, I would automatically assume I got dragged into another stakeout. After years of knowing him, no, nope, uh, <laughs> can't speak. <laughs> After years of knowing him though, this is, has simply become one of the many habits he has, I've gotten used to. Food arrives minutes later. Ooh. All desserts that what the hell? <laughs> Is that supposed to be Ash? Or just a person in general, what the heck? <laughs> Slice of their vegetarian quitch for me. Meanwhile, Ashton has opened for a cup of coffee, plus a gracious serving of You having cake for lunch? He shrugs and then proceeds to dig without even a hint of remorse. Frankly, it's like seeing a child get his Christmas present early. Don't tell Becca. I'll get near full. It's <laughs> just for today. You should listen to her, though. The kind of work you do, you'll need to eat something other than sweets. I don't want to see you drop dead in front of my apartment again. <laughs> I told you, just this once. Okay, Ash. Have you been hanging out with Becca lately? You're beginning to sound like her. <laughs> nah, just for some recipes. But she has the right to worry, you know? It's like she's taking care of two kids. One bitch is on sweets, while the other on cup noodles. Uh, well, okay. They're quite similar. <laughs> at least Bella knows how to cook. Hey, I can at least boil something. You almost burned a house down with salad. Wait, that's easy, right? I mean, you just put water in and... <laughs> nope, he doesn't know how to boil. 
No, don't even think about it. You destroyed your own kitchen once by sticking a pressure cooker on it. I think my sister is a whole lot better than you. And this is coming from someone who has no other choice but to eat or cooking for some time. <laughs> to be fair, he generally appears offended at the last remark. Hate will be strong of a word to describe how sis and him usually interact whenever they're in the same room. No whatever appropriate word it is, I can say with most certainty that the feeling is mutual for both. Ash thinks she nags too much while sis thinks he's a trouble magnet. I should stay away from. They're both technically right on their assessment. How's your sister, by the way? Still bullying white guys? <laughs> oh, what? Uh, you're the one who started it? Uh. Um, uh, let me save this first. You do know she's married to one now. Okay, that made things better. I hope she doesn't end up poisoning him with her cooking. <laughs> Pot calling the kettle black? She can't be better than me. Mm. Actually, she is now. They're planning to start a restaurant sometime in the future. I was bedridden for days after eating some of the stuff she whipped up. And now you're letting her cook for other people? <laughs> Don't exaggerate. It was just for one day and you're the one who refused to leave your apartment. You should come by though. Sis gave birth a few days ago. Girl, I've only seen the pictures. But I might visit some time after everything's settled down. Too many backlogs to go through for now. No way in hell. She'll just find something to criticize again. <laughs> Last time, it was Shirley. Oh, okay. He makes a show of being utterly mortified, though I'm quite sure he doesn't mean any of that. He might not say it straight out, but I'm pretty sure he's enjoying the small visits whenever he can. Something about it reminds him of his own family, sort of like making up for the one he never got back after his parents separated. So I spot that one topic. One thing he never brings up in any conversation, if you could help it, and I've never seen the need to be nosy. There are some wounds you're just not meant to open, and for both of us, the sentiment goes the same As way. As if you ain't already on a shit list. You're just afraid of her. <laughs> in your dreams. But I'll think about it. Can't just drop this thing at the moment. Okay then. He changes in tone is his change in tone is subtle. But his aggravation over the matter hangs completely plopable in the air. Still no closer? The opposite, actually. There's been some slip-ups here and there. Careless mistakes, and let's just say I'm waiting for him to make another one. Okay. What about you? How are things in your end? <sighs> All piled up on top of the other. But I can manage. Still recovering from the expenses for the movie, so the surge of new projects helps. Well, there's this one thing. Oh, here we go. The expression on his face grows more puzzled with each photo I spread on the table. There's about eight of them. All of it reprints the same thing. Miss Fright's assorted head on the photos. Takes a minute to go through each, eyeing the prints warily. Far around his brow doesn't ease even as he gathers. All of it into one pile, sets them in one neat stack in front of me with a heavy sigh. Hana, right? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. How did you... The locket. She never takes it off. Evan's family heirloom. I won't even think about asking why or how he knows that. If he's investigating them, he'll likely hate... He'll... Oh, hey, oh my god. <laughs> He'll likely have already dug up every unimaginable dirt on them, including family history. Are you done with your work with them? Yesterday, yeah. It's just a small feature for a magazine. Interviews, photos, standard stuff, nothing big. But see, here's the thing. I don't know how else to put this out there without sounding crazy, but there really is something odd with that place. Remember the letter? Drags in a breath, reaches up his nose, and pinches it. Like the action alone will grant him all the patience in the word to continue this conversation. Please tell me this isn't about that again. No, Ash, you've got to listen this time. I am listening, and I can't believe that just came out of your mouth. 
These are some blurred out photos and that letter is just a stupid prank. I expected this from Isabella, not you. You're the photographer here. I don't see any need to get worked up over this. I know what you mean, but would you hear me out first? Ashlyn's back on his seat and doesn't say anything further. He gestures for me to continue with a wave of his hand, impatient clearly on his face. Any other person telling him this, he'll walk out without batting an eye. I suppose the only reason he's giving me the benefit of the doubt is because we know each other. Ash, I don't easily buy into these things as much as you do. Yesterday, though, behind Hana. He blinks at that, his eyebrows lifting momentarily before settling into a deep frown. Hana, since when were you on a first name basis with the right missus? Why, why does that even matter? Yeah, why? I thought you said this was just a gig. His voice stays low, but the accusation in it is as clear as day. It hits a nerve in me, somehow, more than the tone usually does. Uh, real, uh, I do get where he's coming from, but... Uh, let me save again. <laughs> Even though I'm not going to restart, it's just like, let me, let me just, uh, maybe if something goes wrong. <laughs> Completely. Um, th that's not the point. Son of a bitch! I just reset it. God dang it! <laughs> All the things I said. My connection to the rice is the first thing he points out. As much as I want to keep my annoyance at bay, I can't stop it from seeping into my voice. That's completely beside the point here, Ash. I warned you, Zach. I get it. I get it. All right. But you can't just expect me to turn it down after I made a commitment to a client. I've got to put food on my table. I didn't say you shouldn't, but you should not be messing with them. I wasn't messing with them. And this isn't? <laughs> he waves the photo in front of me before dropping the pile on the table with a loud smack. I don't need to look to know we've already attracted some attention from the lunchtime crowd. Besides, turning away from him feels almost the same as admitting he's right. There are things more important than his damn case right now. I wish he'd see that. It was a job, and that ain't how these photos were intended to come out. You think I'd go out of my way just to edit something like this? There's something weird going on here. And you think Luke Wright will see it that way? You think the Wright missus will find it amusing? I did not do this for my amusement, Ash. People's lives might be at stake here. If you understood that in the first place, we wouldn't be having this... this stupid talk. <sighs> Fuck you, Ash. Luke fucking Wright is a dangerous man, Zack. Th oh my god. Maybe I should've just showed Hannah. Keep hanging around them and you'll find yourself burnt to a crisp in your apartment or floating down a river three days later. This case is... Will you stop talking about the damn case for once and just listen to me? Why do you think Isabella's... Don't you dare bring her into this. We're talking about you and this stupid- Oh, of course you don't want to talk about it! Because you're fucking afraid there's some damn truth to what she's saying now that there's two of us! Every expression drains from his face as soon as the words are out of my mouth. They hit their mark. Each, uh, a tyrant case sharp- <laughs> Each a tyrant case sharp with nothing but angry and the truth. Yet there are also things I won't typically say out loud in good company and rather ease people into it before letting it fall. Almost immediately a wave of regret washes over me. Dude, that ain't what I meant to. You said enough, Zack. Now another, oh my god. Well, at least they're okay, I guess. Oh my god, I could have almost got a max then. If I did. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Grace, see somebody die. <laughs> Without another word, he stands in his chair, scrapping loudly against the floor, all while my brain races to find something to fix this. Are they a fragile friendship, but by any means? I like to think we've gone past the stage when we find everything the other says insulting. There are times when letters and phrases alone can cut deeper than any blade. Mine might even leave a scar. Doesn't let me, however. 
University of Luxembourg? Instead, he sets a card in front of me. The name is familiar, but amidst the cloud, remorsing swirling inside my head, I can't bring myself to crawl where I've seen you it. You shouldn't be running blind. Call this guy. He'll be less inclined to shout at you. Might even talk some sense into you. Oh, fuck you, asshole. I don't see his face when he leaves, and, it, and it's only when the store's bell chimes again do I breathe. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have talked to Ashhole. God damn it. All places that never crossed my mind, I'll end up wandering to the public library today, considering I rarely ever visited. Somehow there has always been this kind of disconnect between me and books in general. Sure, some of them held. Oh my god, I wonder if you can make everybody go absolutely crazy and just go to this doctor. Sure, some of them held my attention in my youth during the brief times of the day I was left to my own. Uh, with my own, with nothing to do. Went through the whole Grand Collection as a matter of fact. Read all of them twice or thrice. But they never did hold it for long. Most of it never even sticked. Especially after I learned it's simply easier to do things myself if I want to learn stuff. This ain't in the plan of the first place. But after the argument, I really don't have any other choice. Nothing but quiet, quiet greets me inside, though. Not the typical mum one would, would associate with the library. Oh my god, if we can make Becky go to... Uh, Ash to also just maybe go crazy. Oh my god. Just, I think maybe then we could get Ash to realize, oh yeah, shit's fucking going around the house. Or the mansion. <laughs> just maybe. We just need Becky to go crazy. <laughs> Not the typical mom who would. Oh uh, wait, that's it. One akin to the hush prior to an impending trouble. Or perhaps I'm overthinking again. I really like to think I'm just thinking too much about this, that this is just the lack of sleep talking. Regardless, apart from a group of students murmuring corner somewhere, the place is free of its usual visitors. All while my footsteps echo in a manner unsettling enough to raise the ha hairs on the back of my neck. Much to my relief, it does not take me long to find him, being the only occupant in this side of the room. Professor Andrew Clark? Wait a second, did he actually meet him? Oh fuck, he did go and meet him, son of a bitch. Gray is actually gonna go crazy because I made one tiny fucking choice. That's meeting Ash. I've never personally met the man, but Ash has spoken highly of him several times. In fact, he is Ash's go-to guy when something's troubling him with the case. My steps are unsure as I approach. Anyway, he greets me with a warm smile like a grandson he hasn't seen in a long time. Ashton's friend, I take it. Zachary. <laughs> You'll have to forgive this old man if I don't get your name right. Oh no, you got it. It's Zach. Zachary Steele, Professor Clark. He gestures at the empty seat across the table while he returns to his books. The next couple of minutes pass and relieve silence. As he continues to read, take notes from the pile he's accumulated on the table. Maybe I should have taken a book first before heading here. But before I can even get far into the idea, Professor clicks the book shut and sets a top stack next to him. Ashton told me you were hoping to get answers from me. <laughs> <laughs> Am I confused like he lets out a small chuckle? He sent a message ahead. A friend needs to have some sense knocked into him. Oh, in fuck verbatim. you, Ash. <laughs> That boy never changes. Ah, uh, I wasn't really expecting he'd do that. Although I'm not quite sure what I could share, I'll do my best to help. Of course, there are a lot of things I want to ask. How do we get out of this mess is the first among tens, hundreds of concerns in my head. When the presence someone I barely know, the thoughts won't easily form. He's nothing but patient, however... And with enough time to mull over, a question finally forms. Do you believe in the paranormal, Professor? It's supernatural, actually. Um, okay. Don't worry. It's a common mistake to make. 
but they really are two different things. The other one deals with what we can't explain at the moment, while the other are things we may not have an explanation to. What? Okay. Here. He places a couple papers in front of me, the very same one he was writing on earlier. Study of Luxembourg's supernatural culture in a nutshell. Oh. A friend of mine wrote that a few years ago. He took interest in the city after reading about the stories. I have to agree with him here. Even stories dealing with things you don't see with the naked eye can be rife with culture, and this city thrives on it. Just ask the locals. Like ghosts, for example. <laughs> Among other things. The interpretation has changed over the years, though. Various religions, for example, have their own version. It might not always be a spirit now. It could be a memory or an imprint, an echo, so to speak. Some are born from curses, even. Out of great anger, hatred, or pain. So, he's implying, or at least, not that he knows, but basically, so then, this ghost at the mansion is one of these things. There was this one story. Ah, here it is. Another book is pulled out from the stack and placed on top of the papers. While he speaks with such passion that it makes me wonder if some part of him believes this these to be true. It is interesting though, even if I'm personally not a fan of such stories. Soon hours pass without my notes. In the end, it asks for something to be sacrificed in order to destroy whatever anchors the wraith. A sad tale that one, but the simplest grudge can bring the ugliest, even in the kindest person, with some people none the wiser. Oh, I'm sorry, I just went on. No, no, no. It's keep going. Good. Are you familiar with the Ermin God Mansion, though? <laughs> of course. That goes without saying. Who hasn't heard of the local legend? We never got a full explanation of what the legend was. Although, Just that it's haunted. word of the mouth is, someone has already bought it. Ah, yeah. The right couple. It was a close friend who handled that sale. So I heard. Well, don't think the house being <clears throat> bought by anyone would stop us from talking about it. What is it about the mansion, then? I just want to ask what you think of it, sir. <laughs> We're going to need more than an afternoon for that, young man. <laughs> you see, it's the kind that has changed over the years, passed down from one person to the next. Sometimes, it's the Lord William who haunts the place. There are versions where it's the Lady of the House. The Lady of the House? But my favorite, <clears throat> a personal favorite, would have to be the ones that followed after the disappearance of the kind daughter. Oh, so it's probably the daughter who's haunting the place. Well, what about these then? There's a moment of hesitation on my part before I pull out Miss Wright's photo and lay them all in front of him. Unlike Ash, though, the press professor inspects each print with great interest. That gives me some hope, at least. Hmm, when were these taken? Just the other day. Do you think those are the same? Perhaps. Perhaps not. There were certainly instances when the film would pick up what the human eyes weren't able to see. Oh, uh, oh my god, so we, he might not go crazy because we have evidence. Because Isabella will just have the letter which won't mean anything. But because he has pictures that are distorted for unknown reason, being that's most likely the ghost. Oh my god, maybe it was a good idea to go to Ash. Fuck him though. <laughs> He's a natural. Uh, there were certainly instances... Uh, yeah, but then, it could also have been human error. I didn't edit it in any way. You have my word on that, Professor. They all just came out like that. Then, if it is what you're thinking, I strongly advise against doing something reckless and further tangling with them. Accounts about them may be riveting to you, but most of it often ends in an unpleasant manner. What about those people in the house? If there is something in there, shouldn't they know? I'm sure they're already familiar with the legends, but... Some people might deserve it, however. What? Deserve what, sir? All of a sudden, the tenderness in the professor's eye disappears, his face becoming unreadable. <clears throat> As though catching himself, he hastily clears his throat and gathers his book and rises from his seat. Professor? I'm sorry. I just remember something I neglected to do. You'll He's have to excuse something. me, Zachary. Uh, all right. Do you need any help with that? Don't let my looks fool you, son. I can still carry a few hundreds. I've been doing this for years. Uh, I'll see you some other time if you have any other questions. 
Of course. It was nice knowing you, Professor. Okay. So this didn't go as bad as I thought it might go. So we got at least some answers. Sort of. Vague answers, but it's something unlike usual. Doesn't hear it, however. A few short strides, he's out of the library, leaving me and every piece of this whole mess a mess of oppressive stillness. Despite the answers gleaned, more questions surfaced. If there is any single way out of this, I hope we find it soon. And I'm going to end it here though, so if you guys enjoyed the video, go with the like or up a button. And if you want to see more and know what will happen next, uh, go with the subscribe or follow button to be notified of the next part. Uh, got anything to say, say in the comments below. And on that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Comrades!